So I bought a Asus RT-N16 router back in about 2012, and I was running, uh, I've ran DDWRT, I've ran Tomato, and I've most recently ran OpenWRT. Uh, recently, OpenWRT released uh, version 19 of their firmware, and I tried to flash it to this, and I bricked my router. I had to go into the Asus recovery mode and reflash the Asus firmware. And then I tried to upgrade the OpenWRT again, and I get this bullshit from Asus. To comply with regulatory amendments, we have modified our cert certification rule to ensure better firmware quality. This version is not compatible with all previous released Asus firmware uncertified third party. So Asus is preventing consumers who own their own hardware from flashing open source software to their router the keyword their router i own this router not asus so the latest firmware for the rtn 16 is from 2017 that's almost three years ago and look at all the common vulnerabilities that exist that the latest firmware patched and i can guarantee you that there are dozens of other CVEs that exist since 2017, and ASUS, in their infinite wisdom, is preventing consumers who own their own hardware, they paid for it, they are preventing consumers from updating to the latest open source firmware. So start by downloading the ASUS Firmware Rescue Utility. But you have to set your network interface to a static IP. Set it to 192.168.1.15. And the subnet mask should be 255.255.255.0. The gateway doesn't need to be set, but I just set it to the... Uh, 1.1, which is going to be the router when it goes into recovery mode. On my RT N16 Wi-Fi router, it has the reset button, it has the WPS button. To clear the NVRAM, which is required to enter into, well, it just completely clears the configuration of the router. First, make sure your power is unplugged. Press and hold the WPS button and plug it in and you should get a rapidly blinking power light as long as you hold the WPS. Hold the WPS button for about 10 seconds and let it go. The power button will go solid. That means the NVRAM and the configuration of your router is now cleared. Unplug the power. Make sure your power is unplugged. Press and hold the reset button. I'll try to do this with one hand and show you. Plug in the power. Wait 10 seconds holding the reset button. Release the reset button. And you should have a slowly blinking power light. That means you're in recovery mode right now. And it'll stay that way until you run the recovery utility from a Windows computer. There's LAN 1 through 4 on the back of your router. Plug your Cat5 or Cat6 cable into LAN 1. Download the OpenWRT TRX firmware file. This is OpenWRT 1907 for the Broadcom 4700 series chipset. Open that. Click Upload. And then it should see the device. So it'll say, successfully covered the system. Please wait for your system reboot. You can close this. And open up your browser. You go to 192.168.1.1. And you have Lucy. 
That is the web interface. Type in password for the default password and you have open WRT 19.07 installed on a ASUS RT-16 router. This firmware update fixes numerous common vulnerability and exploits that are out there that exist on every router that that is running older firmware. And I, I believe ASUS and other companies that do this are putting the consumer at risk because they've end of life this this router right here. They are not going to make any further firmware updates to this, but yet they are preventing the average consumer with that doesn't have any kind of technical skills from updating with sanity check saying, well, this is not a genuine ASUS firmware. You can't install it. I've ran open WRT 18 on this router for over a year without with with zero problem and the only reason i initially bricked this when flashing version 19 of open wrt is probably because i didn't wait long enough to flash the firmware i equate this little stunt that asus is doing to a money grab that microsoft did with windows 7. oh you have to upgrade to windows 10 at uh if you don't have a license it's 199 dollars per license to upgrade to Windows 10. Okay, this is a money grab. They're end of lifing this older hardware, and they aren't allowing the consumer to update to a firmware that works to extend the life of their hardware. This is a a hundred and eighty dollar router. I'm I'm not buying a new router every year. Okay, and that's what ASUS is doing. I don't expect ASUS to support a a router that came out in. Uh, 2010 but don't block the consumer from updating to an open source firmware which is specifically made for this uh chipset the broadcom bmc 4700 the the i guarantee you this broadcom bmc 4700 is still used in in modern day routers how would you feel if amd or intel did that with uh, open source software Oh, you're running an, an, an Intel CPU and up. Oh, you can't run Linux because they prevent you from running that. Same difference. This is how you get around it. I'm sure that once Asus finds out that their uh, firmware restoration utility can be used to update and bypass their, their uh, certificate checking, they will probably add some sanity checks into it. So... Um, I may just put a link to the firmware flashing utility uh, before they update it and disable this 